Greetings, Special Centurions, and welcome, fellow YouTubers, back to Oblivion. We are currently in the Imperial City Waterfront District, having just gotten back from Chaden Hall, where we stole the bust of the recently deceased Countess. We returned to the waterfront to find it teeming with guards and have been informed by Methridil, or whatever her name is, Methridis, that uh, Arman Christoph is in hiding because there is an informant in the Thieves Guild that we now need to pin the bust, pin the, the theft of the bust on in order to expose her and get rid of her from the Thieves Guild. I'm just checking around here for Nern Root. Nern Root, any Nern Root? No Nern Root. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Her house is just here where Armin Kristoff is standing. Oh, not Armin Kristoff. Hieronymus Lex is standing rather conveniently. Okay, we're inside without being seen. She's asleep. Let's doff our armor. Come over here, place the bust inside. Let's see if there's anything to steal. There isn't. Come outside, put our armor back on. Uh, and talk to you. What do you want? Can't you see I'm in the middle of an investigation? I want to tell you a joke. Listen to this funny joke. The Emperor is dead. Listen to how funny I am. Yes? Listen, this joke's funny. He doesn't like boasting, doesn't like admiration. Okay, so he doesn't like top left. I'm not b whatever. Not bad. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Don't. That's pretty good. Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. Don't be silly. Yes. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, I get it. That's a pretty funny Don't joke. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not buying. <laughs> All right. And we're also going to cast a spell on you. To do 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 do. To enthrall you with my presence. Shapoopy. What do you want? Bust of Leyland, Lathasa, and Daris. You know where the bust is hidden? I do, yeah, because I stole it. Are you sure? That can't be right. She's my... I mean, she doesn't seem to be the type. It's in her cupboard. I don't believe you. But I'll have to check it out anyway. If you are right, there will be hell to pay. You will have to come along. Okay, I like coming along. This what citizen is accusing you of stealing the bust of Lathasa from Chaden Hall. I even found the bust in your cabinet. What do you have to say? Yeah, what do you have to say for yourself? Fool, you've just exposed me to the Thieves' Guild. That citizen is actually the guild member that was hired to do the theft. Regrettably, I have no further use for you. If what I heard is true, you are the thief. If what you say is true, the Grey Fox knows you are my informant. Either way, it's over. You didn't really think I'd trust the likes of you for very long. But I've been loyal to you. I've reported everything that Armand has done. You can't just toss me aside like a soiled cloth. I can and I will. Yes, I can. <laughs> you are under arrest for the theft of the bust of Lathasa and Doris, Countess of Chadenhall. Come with me. Teehee. Anything worth stealing in here? No, nothing in there. All right, let's just follow him out. Teehee, bitch got no, uh, what's it called? What's the word for being arrested, not knocked? Whatever. She got arrested, that's all that matters. 
Uh, right, we have to wait an extra day now for... Uh, what's his face? Our man Kristoff to appear in the waterfront for us to be able to carry on the mission. So what's a good thing to do here at night? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, what time is it? Is it? It's really late, isn't it? Yeah, it's too late for... It's too late to do the... Uh, what's it called? Unfriendly competition. Yeah, he's asleep in the... Oh, maybe not. Let's go... Let's fast travel to the market district. He might be there. He is, chat. Let's go. He's... Yeah, he's where he's supposed to be. He's having a conversation. Let's go and see if we can do this quickly. Uh, we need to doff our armor and weapons. And sneak snonk along here. Sneak snonking, you can't see me, Mr. Guard. He's in there. Alright, fuck this. Let's just cast an invisibility spell. That you, Agamir? Shh, not so loud. How many times have I told you that? Sorry, I am not used to this kind of meeting. It always makes me nervous. Well, just shut up and listen to me. The next shipment will be sooner than I expected. Just have the money ready. Same assortment of things? I mean, I have enough clothing for now. You take what I get. I get notice at the last second, and I have to jump on it. No time to be picky about it. Well, that society is putting more pressure on me, so maybe we better cut back for a while. You cut back now, and I'm going to take my business elsewhere. Or maybe pay a visit to that Jen scene and tell her about your little scheme. Fine. You made your point. Contact me when you have the items, and we'll meet again. Don't worry. It'll be very soon. Now get out of here. I'm now fully visible. Can't see me. I'm not here. Whoa, hello, Carwin. Greetings, Beth. Greetings to you. Expert level alteration skills. Very good, very good. Oh, very good. A. A. <laughs> Where's the nun? It might be under the water, actually. Check for some repair barrels. Uh, repair hammers. Check the barrels for repair hammers. A.
He's just wandering around. Where's he going? He went into his house. Agamir has a house in Talos Plaza. Okay. We have to go in when he's not there. So probably at night. Excuse me. Uh, where are we? What are we doing now? Seven in the morning. We don't have anything to sell, do we? Or anything to buy? So don't need to go to the shops. Um, need one more Nern route. I'm just going to check over here because it might be in the under the water. I wonder what Sacred Lotus does. Whoopsie. If it's a healing potion, that might be quite useful. Sacred... Where is it? Sacred Lotus. No. Resist Frost. Okay, what to do now? Um, we need to wait for nightfall. Both for both of these, for the Elven Maiden to continue and the unfriendly competition. So, Vampire Cure, Collects, Independent Thievery, Tears of the Savior, Seeking Your Roots, Nocturnal, Pilgrimage, Finding an Air, Eternal Vintage, Join the Mages Guild. Yeah, we can't do anything around here. There's, there's nothing. Nout to do. We might be able to do the arena. Let's try, let's go have a go at the arena. I doubt it, but straight ahead. The arena, generally, they tend to be pretty tough in there. But we might be able to stand and fight her now we've got a zombie. And uh, a bit more armor and defense. We might be able to defeat her, the first fighter. Let's go have a go. Run. Oh, we need to wait. We need to wait 15 minutes. If I wait, physically wait, then I'll go. I'll turn more vampire, and I don't want that. So let's just fuck around for 15 minutes. Just sit in a barrel. <laughs> you haven't run home. All right. Get the Zomboss ready. Good people of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. For this match, we've got some fresh meat. Two brand new pit dogs. So let's not waste any time. Let the battle begin. Go, Nibbles. Oh, she's got a glass weapon now. Rise 
Fuck me, she is powerful. Run away! I don't think we can run away either because we're wearing heavy raiment. So she can just run up and catch us. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Jeez Louise. She is fucking tough. The problem is as you level up and get stronger, they get better equipment. So it's only once you're like max level and their equipment has... Um, what's it called? Peaked. That you actually stand a chance of fighting them. I hope she wrecked us. Way too powerful chat. Insanely powerful. For like a level... The first fucking rank of the fucking um, arena is... It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous that you have to fight someone that powerful for the first rank. Whatever. Uh, let's check down here for Nern Root. Oh, you can't actually go under the water in here. That means there's no Nern Root there. What about here? No, no Nern Root. Okay, there must be something nearby that we can explore or do because we've literally got the whole fucking day. The whole day with nothing to do, chat. If I wait, I'll turn into a vampire more, which I don't want. I think there's a cave just down here. Let's go explore that. It's fast travel to the travel to the chestnut stables. And yeah, there's a cave just down here. There it is. We'll go spend the day in exploring the cave and uh, come out when it's night time and ready to speak to Armand and Christophe. What miserable weather. Zonot Cave. Wow, someone's been boozing. Someone up there. Someone above us. Huh? <laughs> Whatever it was, it's gone now. Oh, what's the matter? Is the baby gonna cry? They heard me instantly. It's an archer. Oops, don't do that. I didn't mean to summon that. I meant to do that. There's the archer. Probably could have left him to hit the trap. Right. Go, Nibbles. Whoa, he killed a zombie in one hit. Jeez, that guy's beastly. Oh no, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was the fact that he just ran out of time. Am I supposed to be impressed? Show me what you've got. This is the part where you fall down and bleed to death. Let's farm some block off this guy since we can. go. Noise. 
place. The truly skillful fighter learns to block with shield and weapon. Diligent practice has made you a journeyman at blocking. Blocking no longer damages your weapon or shield. Blocking with your bare hands will cause opponents to recoil a bit, although you take full damage from the attack. So our shield no longer gets damaged at all anymore, chat. We don't need to worry about repairing our shield anymore. Get an elven bow, jeez, no wonder he was doing a lot of damage. Someone else knows I'm here as well. Can't see who though. So that means I'm not going to be able to repair. Oh, this guy. That's just a normal bandit. What are you doing up on the rock? Come down, crying out loud. Oh, she's got an e she's got a dwarven warhammer or an elvish. See the dwarven or elvish. Get her, chuckles. Fucking die, thank you. Fuck me. Doing our boots, greaves, lockpick. Damn it, where'd the hammer go? You little bitch, all I wanted from you was your hammer. All I wanted from you was your hammer and it's gone. It's like fell into the oh it's there. Nice. Person up there. Hey, there's dead bandits there. I wonder what's going on. He must be a vampire or something. Yeah, I think he's a vampire. Let us get our elven bow out, our iron arrows. Okay, well you have a mace. Uh, 
Ow, stop stunning me. Come up here, make sure there are no enemies up here that we're gonna trigger as well. This ends here. Let's get this over with. Don't feel bad. No one lives forever. Ah! I'm just warming up, pathetic worm. <laughs> Why weren't you? Thank you. There's a nice guy, there it is. Just to the point where we can fight these bandits off. It's very close. We can fight them one at a time, which is good. And it's dead. Let's see what we want to get rid of. Dwarven dagger is not very good. Even worse are the chainmail boots, chainmail greaves, chainmail curious, leather boots, mithril boots. Mithril shield, but we can actually cast. We've got a um, we've got a spell that we can cast that increases our weight carrying capacity, doesn't it? Ease burden. So now we can move again. This is all clear, it is. Starting to get glass now, chat. Oh, I see. This is where we started. Gotcha. We started down below. We came through the ravine. So is that everything? Is that the whole area done? Can't see anyone else. Uh, 
it goes up. Okay. The adventure continues, chat. What time is it now? Three in the afternoon. You've got a bit longer. You've got a bit longer, chat. we got longer. Just don't have much more weight. Don't know how much more stuff we can carry. Main cavern, eh? There's two of them. Let us draw one of them over with archer fire. Uh, oh, we got a mace of jinxing. Okay, cool. Hack him up, Bob. Boss? Whatever. Ow. Am I supposed to be he healed? Now you will go pay. Let's get this over with. Good work, buddy. Hundred and ten for six weight. Well, they can go, that can go, that can go, that can go. And we're now under again. Is Dwarven Bow the best? No, Elven Bow's the best. Oh, some of the, they're behind the other rock. They're behind the rock, okay. This will be the leader. Yep, he's a leader. This will be difficult. Uh, where is the zombie? Could immobilize him. Yeah, let's immobilize him. There's no other way we're going to be able to defeat this bandit ringleader. We're just going to have to do the old paralysis trick. Look how much damage he's doing. I'm overburdened. I forgot that I had this equipped. Uh, we're going to need Paralyze again. Where is it? Paralysis. Where's Paralysis? There it is. Immobilize. Uh, we're going to have to drink some potions here. Hopefully that our mana recharge. Where's 
the mobilize. Do do do. Drink another me healing. Uh, drink another potion of sorcery so we can immobilize them. Oh. Good. That went pretty well, I'd say, thanks to immobilize. Right, what don't we want? Probably the Dwarven Daggers. They weigh six each. Chainmail Helmet. Mithril Curie Asses of 50. Uh, Mithril Greaves. Mithril Shield. Do we still have the thing on? The spell on? Yeah, we do. We still have Rink Undead. Um, yeah, probably the Mithril Greaves, curious. 225 for 11, yeah, that's probably the highest for the lowest, highest weight for the lowest price. 225, well, the Dwarven Bow's actually 14, that's 155, so that can go. And let's see if we can make a bunch of potions with the ingredients that we have. Because I think we're, we're carrying a load of stuff that we can turn into, nope. Maybe not, actually. It's all the Nern route we're carrying. We need one more Nern route, then we can go drop it off. Um, need to drop one more thing. One more thing. Probably one of the Mithril Curiasses. Elven Boots of three. Yeah, one of the Mithril Curiasses. We looted that chest. Came over here, shot the guy. He came running. We paralyzed the guy. Ah, here he is. That's what I was looking for. That's it. There's nothing else here. Not even a magic. Oh, no, that's a bit more like it. It's hopefully, one of these will have a magic item. Elven short sword. Yes, 300 gold. Very nice. That's a bit more like it. gold. Uh, let's leave the elven short sword in here because we can't quite carry it. We'll go sell everything, come back, loot everything uh, and then yeah, carry on. Five in the evening, we should get to the market district in time to sell everything, then we can come back, loot everything, then go back and deal with our man Christoph. Whoops, loose zombie in the marketplace. I hope I can help. Certainly. She's at eighty four, okay. Interest you as some fifty five, yeah, that's probably fine. Dwarven Warhammer, Elven Bow, Elven Warhammer, good. Glass Mace, Glass War Axe, it was repaired, yeah. Mace of Jinxing, yeah. Elven Boots, Elven Curias, Mithril Curias. Uh, we want to, how are we doing on her disposition for 100 you? now of course. so can we can I probably haggle you? a bit better now more like 68 percent 65 we'll try uh we'll just sell an iron arrow to her see if it works i can't do no. that more like 60 probably iron arrow sell one you need to make no. a better really 58 
I can't do that. Really? What is your problem, lady? 55 then. There, okay. So let's buy repair hammers from her because we need them. Uh, I'll buy 10 because we only need about 10 of them. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please come again. Now we'll fast travel back to the cave. Zonot cave. Hopefully everything won't have despawned. Head inside. Oh, I could have dropped my... I'm such an idiot. I could have dropped my armor. That would have been an extra 70. Oh, well. We can loot everything here now. Like, literally everything in here. All of these guys' stuff that I left here can come with me. Oops. Literally everything is coming with me, chat. Man, the zombie kicks ass. Ow. Not if my zombie beats the shit out of you first. Well, that's cool. It was good there was someone else here because we got even more loot. Just a bit unexpected. You completely took me by surprise, chat. Uh, bandit ringleader. Dwarven bow, dagger. Curious and stuff. And then there's an elven short sword somewhere, isn't there? It might be up here. Yeah, it's up here. Elven short sword. Nice. wonder where she was hiding before. She must have come back from a loot raid or something and just found everyone dead and was just like, oh, I'll just stay here for a bit. This seems cozy. And I came back and found her and murdered her ass. Murdered her ass. It's 804, so that means um, the shops are all shut. So let's go to the Imperial City Taz Talos Plaza first uh, and see if we can go into this guy's house without him being there. Have we repaired everything? I don't know if we have. No. There. Agamir's house. stuff. Go into his basement.
What the fuck? I found my way into Agarmir's basement. The place consists of an odd assortment of clothing and trinkets. Most disturbing is the dirty shovel and mud-encrusted boots tucked into the corner and the bits of ground bone meal strewn about. I suspect Agamir's stock he sells to Thoronir is taken from the recently dead. I should continue to search carefully for more solid evidence into this grisly accusation. Okay. Macabre Manifest. I found a manifest that seems to detail names of the recently deceased, what they were buried with, and their locations in Cyrodiil. I should take this Macabre Manifest and confront Thoronir, as he may not realize where his merchandise is coming from. Okay, anything else to take? Just bone meal everywhere. Bone meal, bone meal. There's not much in here. Okay. Let us get out of here before he returns. Okay, so now we've got onto that next part. We just need to confront Thoronir. Let's go to the uh, waterfront district and wait for Arman Christoph to show up. God damn it, I keep summoning the zombie by mistake instead of doing the alteration. Oh well, whatever. I wait, I'll become more vampirized, but it's going to be like an hour before he shows up. Sparrow coin for the infirm. Fucking hell, you scared the shit out of me, Chuckles. I was like, what the fuck is the zombie doing here? I've been followed by that dread zombie. It's come all the way. It swam across the lake and has infiltrated the city chat. But no, luckily it was just um, my zombie that was following me. Right, chat. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do the quick wait because I'm not gonna wait basically for Arman Kristoff to show up because it'll increase our level of vampirism. I am, however, gonna stand here and wait for him to show up in real time. But I'm gonna end the episode there and run to the toilet, grab myself another drink, and carry on with the next um, carry on with the Thieves Guild mission in the next episode. Thank you so much for hanging out today, guys. I hugely appreciate it. I hope you're still enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying playing. We'll be back tomorrow morning with another episode of Oblivion. So hopefully I'll see you all there for that. If not, I'll try and catch you in some other content I produce. I try and make content every single day now. So, Sal, wait till next time.